We're Trent and Allie, and we've been super busy lately converting Terry into a tiny home. Well, it's a small disaster. Oh, it's dripping. Oh, huh? it stinks really bad. Does it? <laughs> Having an impromptu pandemic wedding, and we revealed the biggest secret of all, our plans to start construction on a tiny home in the mountains in the next couple months. I think it's gonna be really difficult, and I honestly don't know what Trent has gotten us into this time, but I think it's gonna be a really fun adventure and a really fun challenge for us. I'm pretty notorious for biting off more than I can chew, and this is definitely a good example. <laughs> Just because we have big plans ahead doesn't mean we can slack off on the task at hand. We still have to finish up this remodel, and today, whew, we're finally adding the much needed touch to help us power through in the heat of summer. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome back. Today we are going to be doing a little bit of this, a little bit of that. I know you guys probably saw our last video with our huge announcement. If you haven't, make sure you go check it out. There's a couple of huge announcements. <laughs> Can I just say before we get started, we uh, had an espresso machine in the van. It was like something we felt was important to us. Just because you live in a van and downsize your life doesn't mean you need to sacrifice nice things or things that are important to you, whatever they may be. For us, it was espresso in the morning. <laughs> We've been drinking drip coffee and we recently were like, you know what, this pandemic isn't ending anytime soon. Let's just get our espresso machine again. Oh my goodness, I'm loving life. Winning. Yes. <laughs> it's really crazy because drip coffee, for some reason, I feel the need to have like three cups of drip coffee and I still never feel like completely satisfied with it. The espresso, make myself one latte and I'm ready to go. I don't want any more coffee. I don't know if it's better, but it feels, I'm gonna think it's better because I like <laughs> it more. <laughs> it's delicious, but let's get to work. Well, today I'm going to be putting a Dometic air conditioner in this slot here that we picked up. It is pre-wired for air conditioning, so it has the 120 volt hookup. However, there's a thermostat that needs to be mounted remotely somewhere, so I have to run the wires for that. And the thermostat requires a 12 volt connection, so I've got to tie 12 volts into the panel. It seems pretty easy and straightforward, and I have no idea if it's going to be because once I get this roof pin off, it could be a huge pain in the butt or it could be pretty easy. I'm going with huge pain in the butt. I think Allie's just gonna stand around and watch today because all we really have left to do is paint and Allie put on her pretty outfit, which, <laughs> look at this. What? Your outfit matches. I'm Terry. You're Terry, hey. you're the real live Terry. You're the real live version of Terry. It's hot out. You even come with some nice grandma mirrors. So a lot of you guys weighed in on these mirrors. I really appreciate that. It's such a struggle to decide what to do. I'm gonna try, maybe I can do that today, to paint this uh, design where it's like brassy colored black. See if that really ties into the hinges and the handle. If it doesn't look good, I'm gonna take the whole thing out. So we're gonna see how we like it. If it drives us crazy, we'll change it down the road. But like Ali said, adding a little black, I think, instead of the gold or brass or whatever that color is. We'll probably change the look quite a bit. It's cool, we're like kind of getting to decoration. This is like my favorite part of the build. <laughs> we're very there. We're getting close. Yeah. We still have this huge mess to clean up. We have to do something with the bathroom. Get the walls in here painted, the cabinets. Oh, you're ruining it. You're right, there's so much left. <laughs> Just a handful of things. Honestly, I think if we like really worked, we could get it done in two weeks. But we have this other project that we're gonna be working on off and on now, so two to three weeks. Ugh. Doesn't really have to be super hot yet, but the white roof and the sun, or the white reflecting the sun, it's like getting double baked out here. There. It's really messy. Really? I feel like I have to get all this butyl tape and this lap sealant off. You want some goo gone or something? Oh no, this is this is like taking off old chewing gum. Oh, delicious. One thing is that it is pretty warm up here, so the butyl tape is like melting. At least 
at least coming off like freshly chewed gum, not not chewed gum that you found underneath the desk of your your junior high desk table or something that's like hard as a rock. That's gross. We've never installed an air conditioner before. We've never thought we really needed an air conditioner before, but here in Utah, especially at this higher altitude when it, the sun beats down on you, it's so hot and we're uh it's a dry heat, but it's just intense. Which is also why I thought I could wear other clothes today because I was like, oh, I'm not painting and it's super hot, so I'll just wear those overalls. But no, I'm already changed back into my coveralls because we've decided painting has to happen. And these are the only clothes that I'm willing to get paint on. The young Trent in his natural environment. It's cracked and broken. What? Come on, Domatic. Oh, no. I'm going to try to straighten this out. Oh, the whole metal is bent. Oh my goodness! It's kind of a big deal because uh, this bent piece definitely contacted like the condenser right there. I think this is a terrible idea. <sighs> this is marriage. <laughs> I think it's okay. I don't think any real damage has been done other than this crack and uh, I put that screw back in there. So, you know, everything looks good. Everything could be better, could be worse. But I think I'm happy with it. Yeah. <laughs> bringing, down the, bringing down the power of the spirits. You ready? <laughs> uh, make these things a little lighter. You scoot the ladder out a little bit. Um, okay, leave it there and I'll scoot the ladder closer again. Oh my gosh. You terrify me. Wow. I would say that this is unusual behavior for Trent, but it's not. This is how he does everything and it scares me every time. An issue that we've been running into for a long time that's made it hard to commit to a day of painting is we don't really have a good space to paint. Out here it's windy and it's really sunny, so like grass and dust and the sunlight just isn't great for while you're trying to paint on things. And then inside is kind of our workspace. For the first time, I think we have a real solution to this problem. Today's video is sponsored by Gentle Tent USA. We're gonna set this up and see how it goes. Well, I'm excited to get it set up and now that I've got it out of the bag, I'm actually impressed with how big it is. I think it's supposed to be like 85 square feet, which is basically like adding our van onto our camper. This is basically a tent that we're going to set up outside the camper that's going to be like a spare room, like a storage room or like a little awning area that you can block yourself from the bugs. It's got screens. It's got everything you need. And just like that, we have it all set up. Super durable and strong. If it gets windy, nothing's gonna break or snap. It's just gonna flex in the wind. We've actually seen videos of these tents lasting in up to 70 mile an hour winds, which is pretty insane. You can basically double your sleeping capacity or you can use it as a workspace like I'm going to. So I can paint in here, but there's still mesh netting. So lots of airflow and no bugs, which is very important to me. If you guys want to pick up an add a room or any of Gentle Tent's products, they're doing $150 off an add a room for add a room month throughout July. We'll put a link in the description. Jump down, click the link. It's a pretty cool product. These are going to attach to the thermostat. I'm going to have to run a handful of wires back and forth. I got to do a signal wire, I got to do a positive, a ground. They've got to go to the source, they've got to go to the thermostat. <sighs> Electrical. How do you know all of this? I don't, I'm guessing. Don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> We're tied into the DC portion. Now I've just got to get the Marvel portion. <laughs> just kidding. Now we've just got to do the AC portion. And we can see if it works. I don't know if it's going to work. 
I'm not gonna lie, Dometic, they really need to work on their instructions because there really isn't any. They probably just assume that you're like a certified RV technician if you're gonna be installing one of these. And I'm not, so I would like a little like, hey, what's this orange wire? I would like some clarification there. And I'm definitely not the type of guy that's gonna call Dometic and wait online with customer service to be like, hey, what's this orange wire for? So I'm just gonna guess it's the signal wire for the thermostat. And we'll see what happens. I hooked some of the wires up wrong. I don't have an orange wire, all I have is black and red and I got them confused. Should have called customer service. Well, believe it or not, the guys on the phone probably couldn't help me have an orange wire, so... <laughs> it's the fact that I ran this black wire, uh -huh. and it's gonna connect to the orange. Oh. But then I connected the black to the wrong black, and... Bob's your uncle, you know. <sighs> I might have messed this up. Hold, please. What happened? I fixed it! Yes! Woo! Uh, I've never had something so satisfying in my life. <laughs> is it cold? No. <laughs> but it just barely turned on. This is awesome. Yay! Good job. Good I was job. really worried about myself. Never turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> this is incredible. See you guys tomorrow. This <laughs> <laughs> is like, you know when it's like so cold that you get into a hot shower and you're just like, ah. Oh. I'm doing the reverse. Yeah. You're just like showering in cold air. Yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, what happened? I just got myself. Don't do that. <laughs>kind of went crazy with the aluminum foil tape. There's a few reasons for that. One, if there's any holes or any air where the, any places where the air can go except for out of the vent, it creates turbulence, which is really noisy. So I try to do that to kind of baffle down all the noises. Also, any of that wood, I don't want it having like cold air when it's hot and condensating and creating mold or anything like that. So I covered all that up. I got it all ready and I mean, the only thing left to do is to do it. Twista! It's a frigid Twista. I'm really excited. This has multiple features. You can open it up so that it just like dumps out of here. And then there's directional ports on each side. So we can open this port, aim it directly at the bed, close off everything else. Wow. It's nice and, ooh, it's a little cold actually. <laughs> it's awesome and look, I can walk underneath it. I was really worried that I was gonna like don't get, get super excited. There you go. <laughs> that conditioner is done! Woo! I know it's probably gonna be a little loud in the background, the air conditioning running, and I'm just gonna apologize in advance, but I'm not gonna turn it off because it's bloody hot outside. I think it's like 93 degrees or something. Allie is down here whipping out these last couple cabinet doors. She's getting those primed and then we're going to be moving all of this stuff over there so that we can prime these walls, get them painted. Basically, once we paint in here and get those cabinets painted, I have to do a couple electrical things, then it's just the bathroom. We're like literally getting so close. I'm really Woo! excited. You literally have a mobile paint studio out here. This is much nicer than normal for me. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. Very this nice. This is actually really nice. You look like someone from the Blue Man Group. I'm quite impressed. <laughs> this is uh, this is the mother-in-law suite. So <laughs> it's my mother, Gloria, but it's Allie's mother-in-law now. I so have a mother-in-law now. You have a mother-in-law. Ah! <laughs> so this is the mother-in-law suite. So if my mom wants to come out and, you know, like have some s'mores and hang out at the camp, this is where she's going to stay. <laughs> All right, you ready to do this? Yep. Quick, you're making quick work of these cabinet doors. I'm a professional. Oh, be careful with the paint. Wow. Hey, that looks good. 
That looks pretty dang good. Wow. I do say so myself. Nice and gentle. Oh my. Looks pretty good. Looks really good. <sighs> we got a lot done today. I it think feels we made amazing in here. A lot of progress because now there's climate control. There's climate control. So we can work even when it gets to be 100 degrees. We do got to finish this project in the next couple of weeks like I've been talking about, but it's really coming along. I yeah. think tomorrow we're going to make some huge progress, yeah. probably maybe finish the majority of the painting. Yeah, I th I, I'm saying it right now. Let's finish the painting tomorrow. All right. Yeah, let's finish the painting, man. We'll see you guys in the morning. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson we thought this morning while we're watering the garden we would take you out and show you this monstrosity that has become our planter boxes. It's literally insane out here. Yeah. We have these jalapenos which are getting enormous. I actually need to do some research because I don't know when jalapenos are ready to be picked but that guy looks about ready. We could pick him today I think. <laughs> <laughs> the beans are out of control. Our herb garden's going crazy. But the most insane part of this whole garden is this yellow squash. It has these enormous yellow flowers. It's producing vegetables. We are really excited. I think that's going to be the first thing, well, besides maybe the jalapeno, that we're going to be able to harvest. Literally all we wanted was some things to grow, and I'm completely, my expectations have been exceeded by, every, by the monstrosity, like you said, yeah. that is here now. Today's the day I think I'm starting to put out some little decorative touches just to feel how the space is with some of our things actually in it. It's super echoey and hollow sounding in here and I'm just starting to like figure out, okay, what will, where will things go? What things do we still need to get? How do we make this space not just feel like a cool modern area but like our home? And it's crazy that we're finally at that point now where we can start decorating soon. I'm really excited. I think... One of the main goals that we've been working toward is just to be able to sleep in here. Right now, we're sleeping in Gloria's attic, which is very cute, but very hot. So hopefully in like today or tomorrow, we can get enough of the bedroom done that we can put a mattress in here, sleep in here, and then those homey touches are gonna start rolling right in. Do you like how one of the main things that makes this place feel like a home is Butter cookies. Butter cookies. I do. I actually do feel at home now. All we need is a little uh, hot water kettle so we can make some tea while I eat butter cookies. We can arrange that. <laughs> Alright, well, I got the rest of the cupboard doors hung. I got all of the knobs on. We even took the paper off of the top of the butcher blocks. It looks so good! It, it looks really nice in here. I can't wait until I get the floor trim done and we can just completely finish this side of the trailer. The next thing that we have to do, the next order of business, is to get the bedroom and the bathroom their first coat of paint. Yeah, it looks, it's super messy in there. And obviously there's no paint on the far wall because we're going to be doing tongue and groove on the far wall. And I know a lot of you guys were really upset that we painted this tongue and groove because you liked the natural wood. Down there at the end of the bed, there's gonna be some natural wood that stays natural wood. The thing is, is if you do shoot me, I do have a surcharge. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rate involved. <laughs> Nonsense. So before we actually get started working on the trailer for today, we do have a few new friends that just showed up. Do you guys want to say hello to YouTube? Hi, YouTube. <laughs> this is Matt and Randy. Hi, YouTube. They're doing a little piece on us on the local news station, so they came to check out what we're doing. They're doing a little bit of filming of us painting, of us installing the tongue and groove in the back of the bedroom. 
It's very different actually having a third party do some filming of you. <laughs> we film ourselves every day, but to have somebody else film us, it's just like, it's a little bit different. Yeah, seriously, <laughs> we're trying really hard not to mess up, but uh, I don't know. These are actually the first guests we've had in the trailer since we got it. Hopefully they like it. It's lovely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's lovely. Thanks, man. You're hired. <laughs> no pain, no pleasure. <laughs> Hundred percent. This is the best day of painting we've ever had because the air conditioner is finally installed. Yeah. Yesterday was probably like a hundred degrees in here. Today, I think it's even hotter, honestly. And as soon as we turn the AC off, it's boiling. So I apologize for what is probably really bad audio, but it's very comfortable, and I'm not sorry for that. So there is a little bit of a give and a take here, and that's that the paint is not going to dry as quickly because it's colder in here, but we're a lot more comfortable, and that's something I'm willing to deal with. Well guys, our friends just barely left. It's actually really interesting. Matt Gephardt was the journalist that came out and did the little story about us and our YouTube channel and remodeling our trailer and living nomadically. His dad started a show called Get Gephardt where when people felt like they were done wrong by businesses, his dad would come out as an investigative reporter and basically put that company on blast on the news. So he became like an integral part of Utah and the society here and now his son, Matt, has taken over. So. It was really cool to have him, an investigative reporter, come out and do a piece on us. And like I said earlier, it was really weird to have somebody come and film us as a third party. Yeah, we've I mean, never done that before. We film ourselves all day, every day, so it's like totally normal to be on camera. But to have somebody else manning the camera, knowing that they're going to make their own video about it, was a little unsettling, I'm not gonna lie. It's also super funny because Matt was the moderator of a panel a few years ago of different healthcare workers and healthcare teams that I sat on and was a panelist for in a different lifetime, it feels like, <laughs> when I worked at a healthcare company. So I was like, Matt, I remember you. We were like, oh wow, this is a, a different environment to be filming in than that a long time ago. <laughs> super cool. And Randy from KSL was also there. Randy and his wife have watched our videos for over two years. So, cool. so it was incredible to have somebody that's a big fan of the channel also be able to come out and also be a part of the scene it was just a really fun day it was a really fun day <laughs> and honestly like just talking about it all really makes us feel so grateful for you guys if, if you don't know we love putting out videos and we love reading your comments engaging with all of you and really your reactions to our videos is what motivates us to continue making videos we really owe this all to you guys and i just feel so grateful and so humbled that we get to share this all with you it's true. So if you're watching this, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for watching. We're gonna get back to painting. Tongue and groove is done. It has a nice little frame, a little window frame that goes around the window. Hopefully that works out nicely. There's gonna be some blinds mounted on the top and then I need to put a couple of lights and a couple of USB ports in the bottom of that cabinet. We've got these cabinet doors that are being dried that need to be put on up here. We still need to cut in some stuff with a paintbrush, go around the thermostats. But that wall is done. I got tongue oil on it and everything. So as soon as we get done painting in here, we can literally throw the mattress in here. I think I'm gonna call it a day. 
I'm gonna clean up these tools. I'm gonna go inside and see what Allie's doing. How's it going in here? It's so good, I keep crying. I'm just editing our wedding video that actually goes out tomorrow, which has already come out for you guys. It's so sweet, I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> this is the same with the engagement video that we made as it was like, Allie just sat and cried over and over again because she was like making this video that's like super emotional and I'm sure most of you guys have seen it. And it was a super emotional video. It makes me cry when I watch it. So to edit that, you literally have to go through those emotions over and over again. Did you come in here to make me dinner? Oh, what have you been I, doing I really today? wanted to take a nap. I'm freaking exhausted from working on the trailer all day in the heat. But I think there's a pizza in the freezer. I'll take it. It's not delivery, it's DiGiorno. <laughs> so I don't actually recommend doing any frozen pizza, but if I was gonna get frozen pizza, it's always DiGiorno and you gotta get the rising crust because it's thick and it's delicious. Not sponsored by DiGiorno, I just really appreciate their pizza. And we're kind of in a pinch, we don't really have any other food to make. Oh yeah. Yeah, I just took the pizza out with my hand. Oh, careful that knife. You want to turn into chop suey, Oso? He's like, if it means I can eat some pizza, I'll do whatever it takes. Well, we're going to let that rest for just a couple minutes before I cut it. The pizza looks delicious. We've got a popped bottle of wine. We're going to have a couple glasses. Allie's going to finish editing. Couple Hopefully, glasses? You're ambitious. We're going to have a glass yeah, each. Barely. <laughs> and then we go to sleep. <laughs> a glass each together would be a couple glasses. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> We hope you guys enjoyed coming along on this adventure with us today. Not only did you guys get to see the news do a piece on us, but cool. we got the back of the bedroom finished. Yeah. A little bit more paint touch up that might happen before we see you guys next. And I think we can throw a mattress in there and we have a place to sleep. Finally, I'm so excited to sleep. We're getting so close. It's amazing. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you show us by giving us a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Gentle Tent for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to pick up one of your own. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.